Hi everyone. I am here with you again after a long break. Did you forget that story the song of song? I think all of you have written all the activities which I had given you in the previous class. I think we have completed that character sketch, profile and memo etc. Right? In the previous uh, Victor's channel first bell class they have started a new lesson. But we have to do a lot of activities at the end of the chapter, the Song of Song. Without doing all these activities, it will be, a very, it will be very difficult to uh, go ahead. These activities are the basic things for the higher uh, classes. Right? Now let's do some activities now. I want to ask some questions. When do you get up in the morning? I get up at 5 a.m. What about you? When do you get up? And when do you get into the class of Prabhadavedi? I think a lot of you uh, get into the class at 6 a.m. Correct? Am I correct? Right. Okay. Now listen. Which is the word I used here instead of wake up? Can anybody tell? What I, what I told the law first time, when do you get up in the morning? Which is the word used here instead of wake up? Yes, get up, right? And which is the word used here instead of enter? Can you tell? When do you get into the class? My question is that. When do you get into the class? Now, which is the word used here instead of enter to the class? Enter. Come on, tell me. Yes, get into. Get into. Now, listen. Get up. These are two words. Get and up. Which is the main verb? Yes, get. Get. Now, get up is the combination of the two words. Or the other phrase. They are the phrase, the combination of the two words. And here, get is the main verb. And what about up? Yes, that's the adverb. What do you mean by adverb? Do you remember adjectives in the first chapter I told you? Now, adjective is the describing word for the noun. And adverb means the describing, describing word for the verb. Go fastly. Now, fastly is the describing word. Go slowly. Slowly is the describing word. Go up. Up is the describing word. That's the adverb. Describing word for the verb. That is adverb. Describing word for the nouns. That is adjective. And describing word for the verb. That is adverb. Now, here, up is the ad uh, adverbs. Now, get up. Get is the main verb and up is the uh, adverb. Now these are the combination. And what about the second word? Get into. Get into. Now get into. Now these are the uh, get is the main verb and other as the prepositions. Right? Now what's the meaning of get? Get. I get some money. I get uh, or I got, get the past tense is got, get past tense got, I got a prize, now get got. Now this, uh, the get means, kittiga in the lartan, ile, meaning of get up, yes, wake up. Then what is the meaning of get into, that is enter, enter to the room or get into the room means enter to the room. Right? These are the combination of the group of words which have very different, entirely different meaning. I'll give you one more example. You should put on your uniform every working day. You should put on your uniform every working day. Which is the word I used here instead of wear? W-E-A-R. Wear. Wear your dress. Wear your uniform. Which is the word I used here? Can you tell? Yes, right. Put on. Now put plus on. What is the meaning of put? 
put your pen on the desk, put your notebook here. You know what's the meaning. Now what about the meaning of put on? That is a different meaning. Wear. Right? And one more example. Today we have a very sunny day. A very hot day. I want to keep away from the sunlight. Keep away from the sunlight. Keep away from. I want to stay away. Now here I used keep away from. Keep away from. Keep plus away plus from. Now keep is the word, main verb and others are the adverb and the uh, prepositions. Right? Now uh, with the main verb. Uh, now some other words are also added to them. Now that is maybe sometimes maybe adverbs, sometimes maybe prepositions like that. These are the group of words. These group of words are called phrasal verb. Phrasal verb. Phrasal verbs are the group of words which have a different, entirely different meaning from as that of the individual words. Oro word in Ulla de meaning Ayr Killa is a lang code, only children bolder. It may be a different meaning. That is the phrasal verbs. A lot of phrasal verbs are there. Now, mainly there are three types of phrasal verbs. Mainly there are three types of phrasal verbs. Now, let's look at the first type. Here, verbs followed by adverbs. For example, get up. Now here up is the adverbs and here get is the main verb. Now uh, up, uh, up is the adverb and get is the main verb. Now let's uh, write verb plus adverb. Verb plus adverb. That is the first type. And look at the second type. Verbs followed by prepositions. Example, get in. Get in meaning and uh, arrive. Now here get and in. Here in is the preposition. Now get is the uh, main verb and in is the preposition. That means verb plus preposition. Verb plus preposition. Okay, now let's look at the third one. Verbs followed by adverbs and prepositions. Together, adverb and preposition on the code it on each verb in the code. Here, get is the main verb, along is uh, adverb, and with is preposition. That means verb plus adverb plus preposition preposition these are the main uh, three type of phrasal verbs okay do you remember the musical instrument which is used by Tanzan in that story which is it yes tambura or tambura it is a stringed instrument string industry there is a string which are the other stringed instruments, musical instruments? Can you tell? Yes, veena, violin, guitar, cello, etc. These are the stringed instruments. Can you tell other musical instrument instruments? Look at the picture. Some words are there in page number 59 in your textbook. Which are very, which are related to the music. Which are the words you know? Composer, band, lead singer, orchestra, and conductor. What is composer? Composer means the person who writes the music. You know, music composer. A. R. Rahman is the music composer. And what do you mean by band? Band is the group of uh, people who play music together. You know, Taikudam Bridge, there's the name of a band, a group of people who plays the music together. And uh, what do you mean by lead singer? Leading, lead singer. 
the main person in the uh, the main person in that band that is the lead singer lead singer of the orchestra lead singer of the band etc and what about orchestra as very familiar to you orchestra team a large group of people who play music together with instruments musical instruments and what about uh, conductor what do you mean by conductor a person in that orchestra who directs the musicians or give instruction to the musician these are everything are there in your textbook page number 59 there is an activity in your textbook let's look at it page number 58 in your textbook you can see a word web in that word web the main verb that is there in the center and another word is there in the bubble away now if we join these words together what do you get we will get get away that's a phrasal verb what's the meaning of that phrasal verb escape right can you add more verb more words in that bubbles and make the uh, more uh, phrasal verb can you i'll give you one example in if i add in in this bubble what will be that phrasal verb getting getting what's the meaning of getting yes arrive arrive if we add up here then get up what's the meaning get up wake and next get into get into what's the meaning of get into enter and get down get down get down from the bus get down from the tree irangga enna artham varunathu okay now you may add more and more uh, words in these uh, bubbles and make uh, the phrasal verb okay and also write down its meaning you refer the dictionary and writes its meaning also in your notebooks some uh, phrasal verb you may add in this uh, space and others are you may write down others uh, phrasal verb you may write it down in your notebook and you have to do one more activity below that b now you may complete the following sentences choosing from the phrasal verbs you have listed above now there are some fill in the blanks what time do you dash in the morning which phrasal verb from above do you, uh, uh, which are the phrasal verb do you take from the list above in this uh, blank adhe pole ivide ivide and four uh, activities are the you may do all these activities right now the activity in the same page 58 uh, i'll read all of look at it i can't seem to have enough here can't is the contracted form now here can't is the contracted form of cannot cannot in the short form i have written here can't now here you have to do some uh, uh, contracted form of the uh, first column the some words are there in the first column you should write down the contracted form of each and every one now do not what's the contracted form of do not i'll give you it don't don't and what's the contracted form of am i apostrophe am and what are the contracted form of all these spaces you should write down all these spaces okay it does not that is will not it is i would or i had which are the contracted form you should write down in the second column another activity is the in page number 59 in your textbook i have already told about some musical instruments and i have also shown it in a picture right now listen identify the person who plays the musical instruments there are two columns the first column the musical instruments and the second column one who plays it now look at the first musical instruments piano 
Now what do you call about the person who play the piano? Piano വായിക്കുന്ന ആൾക്ക് എന്താ നിങ്ങൾ പറയുന്നത് Yes, you can call it pianist. What do you call the person who plays tabla? Can you tell? Tablist. And which are the, uh, some pictures are the, in the same page in your textbook. Now you select some uh, musical instruments and write it down in this space given the, in that box. And write the person who played that musical instrument in this place. Okay. Now if you select tabla, you may write tablist here. Or you may, what do you call the person who play guitar? And you may write, you write guitar here, guitar here and write the name of the person who plays guitar, right? Now you may write in these spaces. And below that you may see uh, another activity that is C. Complete the sentences using appropriate words. The first letter is given for you. In the last, uh, now I have already told about the different words that is those which are related to the uh, music do you remember it uh, music composer band orchestra lead singer conductor etc now you may uh, those uh, words are the in the same page in your textbook and look at the first one john and tom play in a rock dash the first letter B is given in a rock band. Now B here and rock band. Now which is the second one? My friend plays the violin in an in an O. O which is starting word. That word is related to music. That is the in the textbook, in your textbook, the same page. You may write here and uh, do three four and five also okay okay that's all for today do all the activities in your textbook and send to me have a nice day thank you